Okay, here's a little class today on Windows Movie Maker and the software that I use now. It's uh, Movie Edit Pro 12. This is the box. This is what it looks like. $50 at Best Buy. It's a good buy. I have version 11 and version 12. The reason I had to buy version 12 is because I have a new computer and it's Vista, Windows Vista. So, anyway, let's look at Windows Movie Maker. Alright, Windows Movie Maker. Now I like to edit my movies in storyboard mode. If you look down here at the bottom, that's what that is. The storyline. So, let's do something simple. Let's just throw a video in there. And I've already got one up here. I've already imported a sample clip. Let's just drag and drop it down here. Boom. Alright, and then you got your preview screen on the right. You can actually play it. That's what it would look like after you're done with it. Okay. Now, let's go over and throw in, say, uh, I don't know. Let's do a, like a credit. Let's do, say, a credit at the end. And then you just type in whatever. See, like there, there was test. Let's just add it. And then let's preview it and see what it looks like. Okay. Now, this is another reason. Well, I, I do like this program. It actually got me started in it. But let me show you something else. I'm going to try and add a video from my camera that I'm using now. It's a Sony SR80. It's got a 60 gig hard drive in it and it records in MPEG format. So, where's an MPEG at? Okay. That's the latest video clip I made of my BIPYA. Let's import it. Eh. Wrong answer. Could not be imported. Unspecified error. Okay. Anyway, let's get out of this. And I'll show you what uh, Movie Editor Pro looks like. Alright. Get you start off real easy. And I believe that's a friend's camera that uh, that's in the background there. Cancel that. I like to go straight to edit right up here at the top. That drops me in the storyline mode puts me exactly where I want to be and this thing is so straightforward and easy to use now by default it remembers the last folder I went into which was my BIP Yak folder I just made that video this is so easy now let me show you now you can you can look at the folder items as thumbnails or details I like thumbnails because I like to see what I'm looking at let's just grab a picture real quick and start off alright put it on the first row first track there it is. And then up on the top part of the screen here, it tells you in seconds what you're doing. Let's make it let's make it a three second picture. We're gonna fade in. You're gonna grab the little black ticket in the picture line. There. That's a fade in. Now I'm gonna fade it out over here. So the there's your preview screen, and we're gonna look at it. Boom. Fade in. Fade out. All right. Now let's throw a video in there. There's the same video that Windows Movie Maker couldn't access. I'm dragging it down. I'm going to put it right at the end of the picture. Now, <clears throat> somebody had a question about my videos earlier about the black strips at the bottom and top of it. My camcorder has the capability of recording in 16 by 9 or uh, full full screen mode, which is four by three. I prefer sixteen by nine. And I know it puts those little black strips on there, but when I'm not viewing these videos on YouTube, I'm looking at them on a fifty-five inch television, so it looks pretty good. Plus, I've got a sixteen by nine monitor as well. So anyway, I'm gonna click adjust just to, to let the program adjust its appearance here. 
I'm going to right click on the waveform. Oh, wait a minute. No, I'm not. Anyway, so there's the video. And I'm going to fade into it too. I'm going to drag that little tick mark at the beginning of the video and fade it in for about half a second. So let's look at it and see what we got now. There's a picture. Fade into the movie. Alright. Now, let's throw a title in. Go up to the, the tabs right above your, your folder. One of them is title. Very easy, very straightforward. Here's all your titles. They've got plenty of titles in here. I'm just going to grab a standard. I'm going to throw it in on track three. Let it go. It automatically dumps me into the editing mode. Let's call it the Bip Yak Movie. Alright. Now I'm going to change the color because I like yellow. Right there. And then, I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to adjust the size of it the, for the time length here, because I only want it to show with the picture at the beginning of the movie. I'm going to fade it in, same way, fade it out. Now you see it's right over the, uh, it's right over the planes. You left, you double click on the, the title again, that brings it back up in edit mode. You can reposition it. There's some slider bars, like scrolling. See right there? See how I'm moving it? Put it at the bottom. That's good. Now let's play it and see what we got. There it is. There's the title. Now, let's just shorten this movie up a little bit. Now I'm gonna shrink the perspective of it here so I can see the whole video. Actually, the video is six minutes long. I'm going to shorten it up a lot. Cut out a lot. Now let's blow it back up where I can see it. Alright, that's my snap points. That's the ending snap point. I right click to bring it up. The starting snap points right there. It's hard to see, but you can left click and make it anywhere you want it. See? Now we're ready to export it. So you click File, Export Movie, and there's a wide range of uh, options you got. AVI, DVAVI, MPEG, Magic Video, QuickTime, Windows Media Export, MPEG4, uh, all kinds of things. So anyway, I'm going to do Windows Media Export because that's the most commonly used one. You can set the resolution. I usually set it at 720 by 480 but you can go as small as 160 by 120 or up to 1920 by 1080 which is massively huge unless you're just gonna wanna see it in high quality I don't ever do it that way frame rate you can change you can select the destination I'm gonna leave it as the default name that picks click OK continue and there it's uh, it's building the movie right now and since it's a relatively small movie, at the top of the screen, you might not be able to see it, but it's a progression bar that tells you how long you've got left. I've got about 14 seconds left, and it'll be ready to go. Okay. As soon as the movie's been com compiled, it'll just start playing it in the format that you su uh, suggested. There it is. The Bipiak movie. How about that? Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. See how easy it was to use. Uh, that's why I use it. I used Movie Maker first, stepped up to this program, haven't looked back. It's only $50. You can buy it online. I got mine from Best Buy. Version 11 is compatible with uh, Windows XP. Version 12 is compatible with Windows Vista. It's your choice. Uh, there's, a, there's lots of different things to do, and I'm still learning. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.